Well, for the first time in the history of this truck, the hard top sits separated away from the body. Sitting here also, as we showed you earlier, were the seats as well as the roll cages out for the first time. We know it's the first time because we noticed that the seals, uh, gaskets and whatnot are still in it, which you don't always find with a Land Cruiser. And uh, these gaskets are factory installed and they're rent meant to keep out probably rattles and or drafts, liquid, maybe water, who knows, something like that, I guess. But uh, I remember taking apart my very first Land Cruiser or hard top off my Land Cruiser back in the mid 80's and uh, when I took it off I found the exact same thing and that is when they paint these uh, they they assemble it and then paint it and you can see that they have a primer right here that's this color right here it's kind of a almost like a dark uh, a greenish tannish type color and then you have the color that starts in you can e even see the spray from the gun that goes through the hole on the hardtop flange onto this gasket. And another thing that we noticed is that some of the bolts were installed before it was painted and or after. This one was installed after because we have paint around it. After because we have paint around it. Or I should I say before the paint I should say. And then um, right there where there's no paint. Paint, no paint. And this truck has not been apart. Again, this is the thousand mile Land Cruiser. It's original. So that's that's awful neat to see. And the same happens over on this side. But what also is you know very interesting, you can see the factory, it just looks like it came right out of the factory. But down here you can see some rust that started to occur right down in that area. And again, there's this sections of this truck where the body is perfectly perfect, nice paint, and then shazam, rust. This is a stereotypical rusted out old Land Cruiser where you have these new panels and then you have these rotted panels right next to it. But uh, for the first time it's coming apart, doors are coming off and uh, things are being collected such that uh, we'll take it apart, every nut and bolt will come out of it. And we're looking forward to taking a lot of these nuts and bolts and having them all plated yellow zinc chromate plate. These things are all original so we'll be going back to these bolts which are stainless steel but there's a number of bolts here that are uh, zinc plated and they're kind of take, they take place on the interior and underneath the hood etc etc so you'll see us replacing those as well. We'll be putting on a, a brand new set of steel factory front fenders. We'll most likely reuse the hood Though if it's too badly gone, we may replace it with a, a brand new factory hood, which is still available, believe it or not. Windshield frame will reuse, cowling we will reuse, as well as doors and hardtop.